Hello everyone, this is Bert de Lang and welcome to this little tutorial video about the full body biped IK component and setting it up on different characters. Now let's start with this one, the pilot. Now first, just add the full body biped IK component. Now when we add it, just make sure it's on the same component as the uh, animator. That way full body biped IK knows if it's on normal or animate physics update mode. Now normally if this is a humanoid character, all the references here should have been properly set up. Uh, it uses the animator again just to fill in those uh, references here. If this is a generic or legacy character, then uh, it tries to guess but it might um, not be uh, working. So in, in that case you uh, just need to fill in those uh, missing slots here manually. Anyway, once you have it you should see this blue uh, armature here displayed on top of the character. And what you, you should uh, first uh, check is um, how those little blue arrows here, uh, in which direction they are uh, facing. They should be pointing towards uh, the bending direction of the limb. In here, in this case, uh, it's the right direction and also with the knees. In some cases, especially with Mixamo's characters, there is a problem that needs to be addressed. Now, if we add the full body biped IK on that SWAT character, we see some uh, red and yellow dots here on the knees and elbows. They're actually warning buttons, so um, if you click on them, you can read the message in the console. It says the limb is completely stretched out. Full body biped IK does not know which way the limb should be bent. That is because uh, the component samples the pose of the character in start to find out um, which way to, to uh, bend the limbs. Uh, to fix it, we just need to uh, block the full body biped IK component here. Uh, then we can uh, expand the character and uh, find the forearm bone and just rotate it a little bit so that uh, it is bent slightly bent in its natural bend bending direction and the little blue arrow is pointing towards that. The same with the other arm and also with the knees. Uh, those buttons on the knees are yellow because it's not uh, the knees they are not stretched out but they are uh, actually they are inverted uh, they are bending uh, into the opposite direction uh, actually full body biped IK can uh, handle it it can work with inverted knees uh, for example some uh, mechanized characters but in this case it's uh, humanoid so we don't want that we just uh, to uh, find the knee bones and rotate them so they uh, appear normal. In this case we have the uh, robot Kyle character. Let's add full body biped IK. We see that we have again this uh, knee problem here. Uh, let's just illustrate how, uh, how it works. Uh, just uh, weigh in the one of the hand effectors, click on it in the scene and move it down. Now you see that uh, actually those knees they are not bending the way they should be bending. Uh, let me just show you how you can fix it. Again just lock the uh, full body biped IK inspector, expand the character and go to the uh, knee joint. Uh, now we just need to rotate it again. This way rotating doesn't uh, do much, so we just try this way. Once the uh, arrow aligns up with the knee joint, we know that it is uh, bending in the right direction. Now it's, it is because uh, this actually this uh, thigh bone is not uh, aligned with this mesh here. It's uh, it's somewhere uh, in that hip, so that's where the problem comes from. Uh, the same with the right knee. And now let's just try it again. Weigh in the uh, hand effector 
and we have a properly working full body pipe at IK components.